last time we talked, we talked Golovkin. Um, I haven't talked to you since he fought Kill Brook. Um, Floyd and a couple other people think he got exposed in that fight. He got hit a little too easy. There were a lot of holes in it. What did you think about Gennady's performance, and, and do you think he was exposed anyway? Well, like we talked previously, uh, previously about that fight, I said, you know, Kel may look good for him in, in, in spots. I said, maybe he sees something we don't see. That's why he took the fight. He was able to, to hit Triple G with some good shots. Uh, but like I, you know, I said before, he wasn't strong enough or big enough for Triple G. And Triple G was going to just walk right through him, which he ended up doing. And the corner was smart, but they, they could see where he was going to get hurt down the road. So they said, no, enough's enough. Uh, you know, the, the, you can't measure that fight with any other fight because he was his waltz weight coming up to middleweight. But he, you know, he hit for he hit on triple G some shots that people said, "Wow, he's gonna hit a lot." Well, if you look at him, his defense isn't that great to begin with. He walks, right? He walks you down and he uses power, so he's easy to hit. Um, I think Mon- Mon- Monroe hit him with some, a lot of shots. Yeah. Just, just had no power behind him, any of them. So he's already been exposed as far as a guy that can be hit. But can you hurt him? You know, you, you, you gotta hurt these guys, man. You expect these power punches. You gotta be able to hurt them to get them, to gain their respect. And if you can't gain their respect, then you're in trouble. And that was that was Kel's problem. Even though he hit him with some shots, he never rocked him. So guess what? Triple G's gonna walk right through there and, and say, "Okay, now test, now test, taste my power. See if you like what I got for you." And you know, but the corner was smart. They stopped it before he had a chance to get hurt. And my last question, you know, a lot of people been talking about Triple G having to move up, and a lot of people wanted to move up and fight the winner of this fight. What do you think about that, John? I know there's been sparring stories and all that, but a lot of people want to see it in the actual ring now. What do you, how are you feeling about it? Not looking ahead too much. Uh, you know, if, 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 you know, worst kind of worst that's the fight he has to take, then, then move up and take it. Um, I, I think he can go to 68 and probably make a little bit of noise before he fights 175. But he seems strong. Um, you know, Sergey said he is strong. Um, so, you know, maybe 175 might be his final stop. But if I were him, I'd go to 68 first and test those waters and see how he makes out with uh, some of the top 168 pounders first. Confident you guy could beat him, Kovalev could beat Triple G at this point? Oh yeah, well let's say, yeah, I, I am. From, from, bo- from a boxing standpoint, Sergey has to box him more, that's all. And he, you know, he, Sergey hits you with those long shots that he has, you're in trouble. Just keep him, keep him at a distance, keep him those long shots. Don't let Triple G get inside and make, make a dog fight out of it. Because uh, Sergey's a better boxer than people realize. And that for a fight like that, he'd have to box because Triple G would try to be the aggressor. And then Sergey had to show, show his true boxing ability. Um, you know, but will, it, will the fight happen? Probably not. Well, John, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you a little later, too, also. Thank you.